Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called rat maze with multiple jumps. So let's see what is given in the problem. So there is a rat which is trapped in a maze. We have to find its way to escape. Okay, so there is a rat. This is a very bad rat, but consider this is our rat. Now it has to escape. Now it is starting from the initial position and it will go till the end of the matrix. So let's see. There are two, three important points which are given. Let's discuss. First of all, what do the cells represent? For example, what does two mean? If the value of the cell is two, it means the maximum number of jumps that the rat can take from that given cell is equal to two. Maximum jumps it can take is two. For example, it can jump one step here or two steps like this, or it can jump one step like this or two steps like this. That's it. It cannot go to any other further cell from this cell. Because the maximum jumps it can take is two. Okay, this is the meaning. Now, if zero, if a cell's value is zero, that means that it is a dead end. We cannot travel further from that cell. So, whenever we see a cell which is zero, we have to backtrack or return from that. There. there is no way to escape from that cell. Now, there is uh, there are two more important points. First point is that right direction is always favored over the down direction the rat can only travel either in the right direction or the down direction but right is always favored over the down direction okay. so first we have always to try to move in the right direction if it is not possible then only we have to try to move in the down direction so let's say we are stuck at any given cell let's say at this cell so first we will always try to find a way in the right direction only if the right direction all the ways return false or all the ways are giving us the wrong path they are not leading us to the answer then only we will always try moving down okay now there's one more important point which is always we have to try to see if mi in minimum number of jumps we can get the answer so there may be multiple possible paths so in that case you don't have to take lot of jumps we don't want to make the rat get tired we want to save its energy you have to use minimum number of jumps what do i mean by that let's say we are at this cell right now if I want, I can jump three steps directly here, right? But if it is possible, I will always try jumping one step first. If one step is not re returning the answer, then I will try to jump two steps. If two steps is also not returning the answer, then I will try to jump three steps. Then only I will try three steps, okay? So always we have to try at any given cell to try to make minimum possible number of jumps. We don't want to make our rat tired. Now let's start. How do we solve this problem? What do we have to achieve? So in this problem, you have to return an answer matrix okay so initially the answer matrix is filled with all zeros now whenever you uh, travel on a cell and that cell is a part of your answer or your solution okay just um, let me take one example let's say we are using this first cell for our answer this cell is our answer this cell this cell this cell so this is one possible answer matrix that you have to return right whichever cells are there in your path that you have to return as answer okay so this is done just for example now initially all the cells are going to be zero right this is our answer matrix and this is our original matrix okay now let's see how we are going to solve this problem so we are going to try the backtracking method we are going to start with a cell and let's see if there is any path to go from that and we'll continue that's it right that's the simple logic so let's start so we are on the first cell okay it's a non-zero value right two is a non-zero value that means this cell we can travel from this cell so in the answer matrix i'm going to change its value and i'm going to make the value of this cell as one so whenever i see a cell from which there exists a path i'm going to make its value in the answer matrix as one okay now from this cell let me try to reach further i have to reach my destination here right this is my destination until i reach my destination i will try to travel further okay so let's start so from this cell first what is preferred always right direction is preferred over the down direction so first i will try to move in the right direction that too one jumps is always preferred over two jumps right because i have to try to take minimum number of jumps so first i will try with one jumps if i am getting my answer so first i will try to go one jumps right so here i can see that this is also one right this is a non-zero value so what i will do this is a possible path so i'm going to change its value in the answer matrix and make it to one okay now from this again i will try to go in the right direction but i see that this is zero right and what does zero mean zero means dead end right so zero means dead end so i will return from here now since right is not possible i will try going down okay i come here 
again this is zero and zero means again dead end right so i will again backtrack from here and i will go back now this cell i tried all the possible two ways both of them return dead end right so this cell is not favorable this cell cannot be a part of our answer it cannot be a part of our path okay so we have to backtrack from here also so what i will do i will backtrack and when i backtrack what i'm going to do again i'm going to make this value as zero because it cannot be a part of our answer what i'm going to do i'm going to backtrack from here now once i backtrack i come back to this cell now when i come back to this cell i will try going in the down direction okay so when i go to the down direction first i will try to take one jump right so i will come to this cell now this cell is again a non zero value that means here i can change and i can make its value as one okay now in this cell again i will uh, try going in the right direction first but this is zero right zero means dead end so we cannot travel so now again i will try taking two jumps here so this is again zero so this is also not possible now i will try taking three jumps okay this value is 3 so maximum i can take three jumps so let me try here now this is a non zero value so which is very good for us so i am going to change the value and make it one in the answer matrix okay now first from this cell i will try in the right direction but this is going out of the boundary so i will come below and i will try this cell this is again a non zero value which is very good for us so i am going to make its value as 1 first i will try in the right direction this is going out of boundary so then i will go in the down direction now this is 1 so it is very good for us it's a non zero value so i can change it in the answer matrix now i see that i have reached my destination cell so this is my so now let's go forward to coding it so basically we have to declare a rat maze function so let me just call it rat maze i am going to pass matrix and i am going to pass answer vector so first let me declare the answer vector so vector vector int answer it's going to be the same size as matrix but initially it's going to have all values as zero right so let me quickly initialize that and make all values as zero initially now finally whatever this returns i am going to return answer now along with this we will also pass the current coordinate so initially we are starting from 0 0 and whenever we reach the end okay we are we are going to reach the destination so 0 0 is the starting coordinate so i am passing that okay now let me declare my function this is going to be a boolean function right boolean rat maze function why it's boolean because see if ever we are going to uh, it's going to return false there is no path or all the values are zero right then in that case you have to return minus 1 okay you have to return minus 1 otherwise you can return the answer so now let me quickly take the parameters so our function is called rat maze and it takes four parameters first parameter is the matrix itself the second parameter is answer which we have to return finally third is the i coordinate fourth is the j coordinate okay so it's taking four parameters now let's start what are we doing in this so in this function uh, first of all whenever we are seeing a coordinate right first of all we will check if that coordinate is within the boundary right so we will check within boundary limits right it should be within boundary because sometimes we are reaching a condition where it goes out of bounds right so if it goes out of bounds okay so we can declare a function uh, to check within a uh, boundary okay or uh, you know yeah this is better we will declare a function within boundary and what we are going to do we are going to check if our coordinates are proper or not okay if our coordinates are proper that means we can make it answer of i j as 1 so if it is within boundary and it has a non zero value then we can go and change its answer as one okay so first let me declare the within boundary function okay so we have a boolean function which checks whether our coordinates are within boundary and having non zero value or not because if they are having zero value then we cannot make this as one right if it is having a non zero value then only in the answer uh, matrix we can make its value as one so let me pass the three parameters to this function and this is very simple it's just checking i should never be greater than okay equal to matrix dot size okay similarly j coordinate should never be greater than matrix of 0 dot size okay similarly the matrix of i j this should never be 0 if it is 0 also 
we can return false that means that this cell is not a part of our path otherwise we can return true so simple function okay now if it is within boundary then it's great we can make its answer as one and now further we will try to go to other neighboring cells and see so let me give a for loop here so by the number of steps that i'm moving okay so let me take as number of steps so initially we'll try with one steps okay till the maximum value how we'll get the maximum value just the matrix of ij gives the maximum number of steps that we can move if it is three that means we can maximum move three steps from this cell and so on right so number of steps plus plus so initially we'll try with one step so what we are going to try again we are going to call the rat maze function okay and again we are going to pass the parameters matrix answer but this time first we have to move right right if you are moving right the i coordinate remains same but in the j coordinate we are going to add number of steps okay so if this function is going to return true right if this function returns true then we can return true similarly in the downward direction how you are going to move let me just copy this line in the downward direction okay instead of giving number of steps here i will give i plus number of steps so in the first step what i am doing i am moving in the right direction in the second function call i am moving in the downward direction because when we move in the downward direction only the i coordinate changes but the j coordinate uh, remains the same right so this is the simple logic so i will try now if even after all this function calls right none of them is returning true right that means uh, that this cell is not a part of our path so we can finally change its value back to zero okay so initially we had made its value one if even after all these possibilities right none of them is returning true we are finally coming to this call right if we are coming at this position means that all from this cell there is no path at all so then we will make its value back as zero and then we can also return false right so this is it now when are we going to return a true okay what is the base condition when we are going to return true so the simple condition is when we reach the destination cell what is the coordinate of the destination cell so just the last coordinate the last value so if i is equal to this and j is equal to matrix of 0 dot size minus 1 that means we have reached the end coordinate right so whenever we reach the end coordinate we can just return true okay that's it this is the simple code i hope that this will work let me just run and see if it's going to work okay so there's one thing in the last cell we are uh, it's still zero because in the last cell before returning true we are never making the last cell as um, one so here in the last cell also we can give answer of ij is equal to one okay it should work now this is just one extra line that we have to give for the last destination cell now it's working let's just submit and see if it's working for all the test cases so it's working and the code will be there uh, in the comment section. Do check it out. Thank you.